Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest from REM F4i. It's for the Verizon Galaxy S3. It's called the Executioner. Uh, this is a continuation of Taste of Beans. Uh, I gotta say, personally, 4.5 was faster for me than 5.0, but so far, the Executioner has been faster than both of them. It is based off the official Verizon over-the-air update that was just brought out to the unrooted phones a few days ago, so that's one of the big things. that it's. Uh, it is still the K3 release, but it's off the official over-the-air the year update, which is pretty sweet. Some of the other things he added to, uh, the Galaxy Note 2 pop-up browsers in here, the 4.2 keyboard, Gmail, Market, and Google search all in here, HTC One X, SMS bubbles. Um, he did do some speed tweaks. It is V6 supercharged right out of the box. You do not need to go to terminal emulator and type in anything in, in V6 supercharged. It's already done for you. Uh, he did some build uh, build prop tweaks, quote to him, out the ass. Uh, the RAM's been fully optimized, the memory fully optimized. He says the battery tweaks he did is going to give it 18 to 20 hours, which is uh, something I want to see for myself. Smooth scrolling tweaks, touch response tweaks. He also added in acid audio, beats audio, the long press volume skip track, Wi-Fi tethers in here, uh, the 4-in-1 reboot menu in here, uh, the white themed 15 toggle, which is the notification, which I'll show you here in just a second, and a whole bunch of other cool things as well. So uh, let's get into it and go into the uh, settings menu, go to about phone and see what we're working with here. Uh, we are on Android 4.1.1 VRBL K3. Now, if you do not see K3, then you have to update yourself with the RPM and the uh, radio. Uh, it is not the ROM's job to do that for you, so if you're wondering why you still say K1 or HE or whatever, it's because you need to update it yourself, and you can find that uh, over on XDA or Roots. Uh, that is the RPM and the radio for the K3, okay? Uh, we are using the stock kernel. You can use any of the other Jelly Bean kernels for TouchWiz. I know iMozion just put out a new version, 1.2.1, that you can try if you want to. Um, we are on the Executioner. This is by Rem f 4 i So uh, if you notice the theming, a little bit gray. Uh, it's not really washed out, but kind of gray looking. Um, you can see as I go up and down one flick of my thumb, it's super smooth. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. As you see, I go back to the uh, home screen here. Watch. Boom, quick. Into the app drawer, quick. Boom, quick. So it's very fast, very smooth. Um, checking out the cameras here, you can see I do uh, have the 4.2 camera and gallery. I did put that in there myself with the zip file. The Samsung gallery and the Samsung camera come stock on this ROM. Checking out Google Now. Google Now works great. No problems with that at all. Checking out GPS. Uh, I just had it open a second ago, so let it relock on. We'll see. I'm inside right now, so we'll see how quick it locks on. You can see 11 out of 19, 13 out of 19, so GPS works no problem. And I also like to check Google Maps, too, to see if it's got me in the right location. And it does have me in the right location. So Google Maps has us uh, not five miles away from our location, but in the right place. Uh, looking at the notification, you can see it is in the white theme, black and white theme. All your toggles are here. You do have the uh, brightness slider as well, which I definitely love. I appreciate having that in there. Um, and uh, app jewelry, I got the 4.2 clock widget I did myself, uh, so that does not come stock, but uh, very smooth, very fast going through here. So uh, definitely a great ROM, very smooth and very quick. I love it so far. Definitely worth trying. Uh, checking out some of the other things that come with it. It does come with the Acid Sound Mod, Awesome Beats, the Dolby Mobile, and a few other applications. Your Google applications, you get the Play Magazines, Movies, Music, and Books. Uh, and Samsung applications, you get the Memo Voice, Music Player, Music Hub, Media Hub, Color, Video Player, and the uh, Voice Recorder. So you do get some of the Samsung and uh, some of the um, extra applications that he did put in there. I know Keys was in there, I got rid of that. Kindle was in there and I got rid of that. Um, but again, it's all your personal preference. So uh, definitely a great ROM to try. It is the Executioner by Rem F4i. Oh, you can get the link in the description down below uh, and definitely give it a try, flash it to your device. Don't forget to uh, make a backup first, download it, put it on your SD card, we'll do all your wipes, your factory reset, your data, your system, your uh, cache and your Dalvik and flash this baby away. Once it's booted up, definitely put your uh, developer settings. Make sure you put this on uh, .5 to make it a little bit quicker as well. 
your window animation, transition animation, and your animator duration scale. Uh, you put that at .5 and it makes it a little bit quicker as well. But overall, a great ROM to try. Great job on it. Uh, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. If you're looking for other videos or other ROMs to flash for your Samsung Galaxy S3, I've got all the latest and greatest for you on my YouTube page. Go and check it out. Just type in Android University, all one word, and you'll find all my videos so you can watch them before you flash them. This is the Executioner. Definitely give it a try. It's super fast. It's super smooth right out of the box. It still has all the wonderful stock features, and it is based on the official over-the-air update from Verizon, Android 4.1.1. All right? My name is Hobart. Thanks for hanging with me today. Have a great day. Give this one a try.